Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this what's becoming a little bit of a daily update. Uh, so yesterday, uh, last night, a few members of Molyneux Mix went and met with Jeff Shee, Laurie Dalrymple and uh, Kevin Thelwell. Now I, I'm not saying that I went but I'm just reporting back from what they have put then on Molyneux Mix today. And there's some very exciting uh, things that came out of this uh, meeting which I'm going to summarise for you here now. So the first point is that Wolves' owner's target is for Wolves to win the Premier League, not to just compete, not to just be a top team in the Premier League, but is to win the Premier League at some point in the future. I think, obviously, they are aware that they're going to have to improve year on year. It's not a thing that can happen instantly. It needs to be a process over a number of years. And part of that is securing our spot in the Premier League next season and pushing on then in the future uh, after that. Another point is that Wolves want to buy in top English talent. Now that may be a bit of a surprise to people watching this video, having signed a number of Portuguese players over the last two, three years. Uh, but Wolves want to sign the best English players or to develop the best English players. And the way of doing that is by being successful on the pitch. Now, we saw earlier in the summer that Wolves were linked with Jack Wilshere and Jack Butland, but those two deals haven't haven't happened. But it would be interesting to see who Wolves do bring in, or who are homegrown and who Wolves decide to develop from their academy. Like Morgan Gibbs-White certainly seems to be somebody that they're focusing on, as well as Ryan Giles through pre-season looks as if he's going to be a key part of the Wolves' future. The next point is that Wolves are planning on building or expanding Molyneux to be a 55 to 60,000 seater stadium, which would be amazing. I think all Wolves fans sort of have this idea in their head of this amazing new massive Molyneux. And I think the key bits of it is that they're, they're looking at keeping Wolves on the same land at Molyneux. They're also working with the same architects and designers who designed the North Bank to develop the rest of the ground, but they have learnt from mistakes um, that were made in the North Bank and keeping the South Bank as a single-tier stand is a priority for them. And we've already heard uh, in the previous months that they are thinking of uh, or they're buying the land behind the South Bank and developing that and keeping it as a one-tier stand and just expanding backwards to make it a 10,000 seater stand. The other, the little bit that I liked in the original comment of this thread is that pub to seat time must be very, very small and that must be considered. <laughs> I liked that a lot. Barry Douglas was pretty much confirmed, I think, by Jeff Shee yesterday that he'd be off. And it, the original post again said that Jeff Shee was disappointed about that. As I think most Wolves fans are, we've seen how much of it, how important he was and it's still up for debate whether or not it's the right decision to let him go or whether it was fair to not give him a shot at all in, in the Premier League. I would have loved to have seen him swinging in free kicks but you have to think about the progression and the aim and ambition for Wolves and we'll see... Uh, We'll see if it is a mistake in the coming months. Apparently, we're not after Andre Silva, but we are still after Zinchenko, although Zinchenko, although Zinchenko, Zinchenko doesn't look like he wants to come to Wolves. He looks like he wants to try and make a go at it at Manchester City. So overall, there's some very, very positive things coming out of the Wolves at the moment. Obviously, there'll be a number of teams that have similar ambitions to us in terms of winning the league and, and the way that they're going to develop. And it's about being patient and about being competitive on, on and off the field now to see if Wolves can achieve what they want to. And I think the fact that that Fosun are so invested in the club now and they've they've put in so much money they are going to want some sort of return on that as soon as possible. And I think that would mean European football in the next two or three years. Whether or not the Champions League would be out of out of reach in that time, I'm not sure. The last two little bits of news is that Carla Kimi obviously has retired today. I've already put up a little compilation of a couple of his uh, best bits. I think it was some, something that was inevitable. But having spent 18 years at the club, I've no doubt that we will see him once more uh, in a in a wolf shirt in a testimonial game of some sort, I think that'd be what everybody really wants, and I'm sure he'd be able to sell the ground out and raise a lot of money for for charities in the future if that's something that he wanted to do. And finally, one last little bit of rumor that's come out today is that Pepe uh, 
from Besiktas, formerly of Real Madrid, there is discussions between Wolves and Pepe about a deal there. Now that could, I've been critical of him and I've said that I didn't want him, but I've compared him now over the last couple of days to uh, what I always used to say about Joey Barton uh, and players like that, Lee Bowyer and players like that in the past, that they are horrible players, nasty players, but if they're on your team and if they've got qualities that are annoying to opposition, it might be a good thing for us. Let me know your thoughts about Pepe, about Carla Kimi, and about the Molyneux Mix uh, meeting with Fosun in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later.